We're at Sandoval Fight Systems, ahead of Fight World MMA 25. I'm Micah Frankel, and we're joined by Ray Viza. Sir, first off, how you doing? How you feeling? I'm doing good, man. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, you're always here to get us exposed, you know, and we, we thank you for that. I'm um, doing good, you know, fight camp's been good, and just ready to go and compete next Saturday. Going to be taking on Armando Valdez from Briggs MMA. How do you size him up as an opponent? Uh, I know the kid is real tough. Uh, I'm not going to take that away from him. He's really, really tough. Uh, and, you know, I want to personally thank him for taking this fight because, you know, it's been hard to give me a fight. So thank you, Armando, for taking the fight. So, yeah, just it's going to be a good fight for sure. As you're getting up there, gaining the experience, getting the resume together, it seems like it's a bit harder to find new fights. Uh, how much do you almost find that as a badge of honor that through the, the amateur scene, guys are recognizing this is a tough one to take on? Well, it's, it's good to have that, you know, because, you know, it's kind of good, but then it's kind of bad, you know, because when I get to the pros, you know, I'm going to have a target on my back because they're going to be like, hey, you know, this guy's coming in. Coming in good, you know, coming in good into the pro ranks. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's an honor to have that, you know, and I can't, I can't have that badge of honor without my coach, you know, Freddie, you know, because he's the one that got me to be where I'm at today. As you're progressing and developing, and we've seen you really ratcheting things up here over the last year, a couple fights, several grappling turns. What do you felt have been some of these most valuable lessons that you could share that you've learned as it seems like you're really turning things up in your career here? Uh, just never look back, you know, never look back, no matter if you win or you lose, or you lose, you know, if you lose, you never lose. It's your, when you lose, you learn. That's what you do. You learn. And you learn for next time when it, when it happens, you know, is that going to happen again or is it not going to happen, you know? Yeah, like I said, just don't look, don't turn back. Just keep moving forward and just keep, keep reaching for the stars, you know? Now talk to us about motivation and what's really driving you ahead of this fight. Um, it's just... Like I said, I do this all for my kid, you know, my, my daughter is my world and I would do anything for that little girl. So, you know, she's my motivation, you know, and her not being here during this camp, it's motivated me even more to drive more and to get things done how they should be and to listen to my coaches, you know, because they are there to help me and yeah, I got to listen to them. So we've seen your striking really developing, seen you land some great shots, but we've seen some lessons there learned on the ground. So... What has to come together for Ray to be fully there on fight night and have the performance you want to? Uh, you know, just like like you said earlier, I've been doing a lot of grappling this summer, more than anything. Uh, actually, you know, I fought Tyrell my last fight, and that was back in February. After after that, I just thought to myself, you know what, I got to get my ground game better, you know, because I don't want that shit to happen ever again. So yeah, just doing the jiu-jitsu part, you know, and getting that down. So that's that's what's been helping me get better. So, yeah, pretty much just jiu-jitsu, you know, the striking's already there. Everyone knows I, know, everyone knows I can strike. So, yeah, it's just been the jiu-jitsu part that I needed to get down. August 20th, what, do you, what would it mean for you to put it all together, have a complete performance? What would that look like? Uh, I just I feel like we're going to go in there and we're going to take our opponent to deep waters and if he, hopefully he's bound to swim because now he's going to drown, you know, because we – I work hard, you know. I work hard with different teams out here in New Mexico, you know. It's not just – one team that we're working with, you know, we work with different teams. So getting different bodies every night, it's it's been great. So when it comes to fight night, I'm ready to go. Now I saw with an announcement that you were fighting, your coach lovingly says, it's my oldest son going to war. Talk to me about that relationship, that it's that kind of feel. Yeah, me and Freddie go way back. Freddie's honestly known me since I was like in diapers, honestly. Um, yeah, uh, he's pretty much like, a, like, yeah, I got my dad, dad, you know, everyone knows my dad, but... Yeah, he is like a father figure, figure to me. You know, he's always been there for me, and he's gone out of his way to get me fights that I wanted. Not not that I wanted, but he's gotten me fights. You know what I mean? Like, I wanted a fight, he got me a fight. And, you know, if I needed something, he's been there for me, you know, and he cuts my hair. He cuts all of our hairs, actually, so it's, it's, it's good, you know, and it's, it's good to have him in my corner. I wouldn't want anybody else in my corner except for Freddie. And do you feel right now this is the point where you're becoming that, that level where you want to be, where you want to be, turning professional where your skills are getting to that point yeah absolutely yeah um like i said this happened about a year ago is whenever i started my journey back in this game and ever since i came here it just it's been nothing but positivity and yeah i'm leaning towards uh, going to pro you know i hopefully i'll 
fulfill that dreams uh, next next year at the beginning of the year. So, and you know, thanks to Freddie for helping me out. Not only Freddie, Coach Terrace. All, I mean, I don't want to single anybody out, but everyone that's been helping me out, I really appreciate you because y'all are getting me ready to go into that next level. And I do feel like I'm ready for that next level. Cool. Look forward to seeing you in action. Fight World MMA 25. All right. Thank y'all. Make sure you get tickets. Uh, use uh, promo code RVISA. And yeah, see y'all there. It's going to be pure violence.